Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw, and today we are going to be learning about an artist whose name is Faith Ringold. Faith Ringold was born in New York in 1930. Before she became very famous for her art, she was an art teacher in New York City. She is very talented at many different kinds of art, but she's most well known for her story quilts. Quilt making is one of those things that a lot of people don't see as art. If you're making something that's useful, a lot of people don't think that could also be art at the same time. So Faith loves to create stories with her quilts to turn them into pieces of art. One of her most famous story quilts is called Tar Beach. And it's also the inspiration for her children's book that I really recommend you listen to before we start. If you look in the description, you'll see a link to her reading her story and you can watch it before we start our project. The quilt tells a story about a child who loves to lay out on the roof of her apartment complex and look up at the stars and dream about flying over the city and seeing all the different things and making big changes. Quilts are made by sewing different pieces of fabric together, and usually you'll make patterns and designs with it. For story quilts, you'll also see text and images sewn into the quilts as well. In Faith's work, the squares on the outside are usually just patterns and designs, and most of what you see on the inside has the story. And sometimes you'll see text on the border as well. For our project today, we are going to be inspired by Faith Ringold's Tar Beach story and make our own drawing similar to Tar Beach. So I will show you how to make your border, your person flying over your city, and you can also be creative and make the city look any way that you want. So go ahead and grab your supplies and let's get started. All right, so for our Faith Ringold inspired drawing, we're gonna start by drawing our person who's gonna be flying over the city. You can make it you or you can make it anybody you want, but I'll show you the basic shapes first. So up near the top, you're going to start with a circle for the head. And then for the body, I'm going to do a shape kind of like for the dress. So I'm gonna do a straight line, two angled lines like this, and then a curved line. Now, if you wanted to do pants instead, you could do a small rectangle and then two rectangles for the pant legs, but I did like this. And then two lines for each leg with a little oval for the foot. Then each arm is also going to be two lines and a circle at the end. And then I'm gonna have the eye over here, the smile, cause she's looking to the side. And then you can have the hair kind of flowing. If you want to add any patterns to the dress, you could do that too. Now we're going to make our border on our picture. If you have a ruler, it's a great idea to use one. I'm going to skip it for this one though because I don't mind if it's a little wavy. So I'm gonna start about an inch from the bottom here and all the way on the side and I'm gonna very carefully and very slowly draw a line all the way across. Trying to make sure that the amount of space between the line and the bottom is about the same all the way. Then on the side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Start about an inch over, very carefully, very slowly, draw a line all the way up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. When I get to my person, I'm gonna just stop and continue out wherever um, there's space. And up and down like that. It's not perfect on all four sides, but I really don't mind it. Then I'm gonna go in and add lots of straight lines to create my sections for my story quilts. Now at this point, I would recommend that you go in and you add your colors and your designs to the border because if you wait until the end, you might not want to do it then. So I would go in and add different patterns, designs, colors. You could even add some shapes on the border. 
If you wanna pause the video to do that, that's a good idea. Otherwise, I'm gonna continue on and show you the rest of the drawing. Next, we're gonna draw the city. So we're gonna draw a couple of different sized rectangles. So I'm gonna draw one that's tall here. And you're just gonna make a couple that are different heights going all across your paper. You can add triangles on the tops of some if you want to have a different shape for the roof. And then I'm going to draw the bridge. So it's basically a horizontal line with a curve on top. On this one, the line, I'm gonna have it start here, but it's behind the building, so it's really gonna start over here. And it just goes across, two lines, like that. And then above it, I'm going to do a line that kind of curves down, and when it gets towards the middle, have it curve back up. And then another one just above it. and then some vertical lines. And now I'm done with my bridge. Now I'm gonna add some details. So I can add windows, you could try squares. Or a half circle. or rectangles. And then of course I want to add a moon and stars. So a lot of times when I do a crescent moon, I start with a letter C and then a smaller letter C inside. And for the stars, I'm gonna do little circles so that when I color it in, I'm gonna leave those little circles white. And that is all the steps for making your Faith Ringold Tar Beach inspired drawing. Of course, when you color it in, it's going to look much more exciting, kind of like this. So see how I did lots of colors on the quilt border, and I also added lots of colors to my buildings and my sky and my person. And when you're all done, I think it's a really fun, colorful, and exciting drawing. Well guys, I hope you had fun learning about Faith Ringold and making your Tar Beach inspired drawing. I love the book and I love her art and I hope you guys had fun too. I will see you next time for our next drawing video. Bye!